Hi and welcome, I'm so happy you're here. Today I'm going to be talking about weight gain and eating patterns in relationships. So I work as a marriage coach online as well as in person in Dubai and the Middle East and I also support people to stop emotional eating and release the emotional part of comfort eating, binge eating, bulimia or not eating at all. And one of the things that comes up a time and time again in the relationship work that I do is where one person has put on a lot of weight and how this affects the relationship. So from the one side, the person who is married to someone that has put on a lot of weight can feel frustrated, can lose respect, can start to feel, well, why are they not taking care of their body? Why are they not looking good? Do they not care about me? Do they not respect me? And also sometimes they can lose attractiveness physically and also emotionally because they feel that their partner is not showing love by taking care of themselves or they've lost respect because they really want someone that is a healthy eater or is not a binge eater that has a good and healthy supportive relationship with food. On the other side, the other person can feel very pressured, very angry that they're being judged by their weight and their physical appearance. And they can feel very against their partner for putting additional pressure on them when perhaps they already are unhappy about their eating, they're unhappy about their weight, they may be trying everything, but they're going through menopause or hormonal changes or other areas in their life which they are struggling with and they're just not shedding the weight, they just end up gaining weight. And so all of this can cause a lot of tension in relationships. And how I approach this is first of all to look at how it's affecting the relationship. Now sometimes it can affect the sex life a lot, where someone is no longer physically attracted to their husband or wife that they want to be sexually intimate with them. Now this is a problem for the relationship. So this has to be addressed for the marriage to be flourishing, for the marriage to be happy. If one person has a problem, then the other person inevitably is gonna have the problem, the relationship's gonna have a problem. So it can't just be brushed under the carpet. Somehow it needs to be addressed, but it needs to be addressed very delicately. And it can be very difficult for the person who does have an issue with their partner gaining weight because they may not want to have an issue. Often they don't. Often they want to be physically attracted to their partner, but they're just not. And then this can affect also the affection as well as the intimacy. So what do you do if weight is an issue in your relationship? The first thing to do is to work out what is bothering you and what are some of the ideas that you can do to change this? And if you are the person who is married to somebody that has put on a lot of weight and they're unhappy about the weight, how can you support them in a loving way? Telling them they're flabby, telling them that they need to lose weight, telling them that they shouldn't eat certain foods often makes things a lot worse. It's far better to approach it by saying, you said you want to lose weight, you said you want to change what you're eating, you said you want to get fitter, how can I support you? Shall we get meals delivered? Shall we go for more walks? Shall we do an exercise holiday? Shall we change the way that we eat at home, change the way that we eat with the children? How can you really support them and show love and care and concern? For the person who is wanting to lose weight but is struggling or maybe they're not even wanting to lose weight but they're really fed up of their partner saying whatever they're saying to them and it's making them feel worse, they need to decide what they can do for themselves. If they really want to lose weight and they really want to change their body shape, then how can you go about doing that? How can you support yourself? Sometimes I do weight loss hypnotherapy with people. Sometimes I plan with them goals and actions they're gonna to take to deal with any comfort eating, 
any procrastination when it comes to exercise, any fears or blocks that are in their way. And sometimes it's about communicating to your husband or wife saying, what you're doing is not helping me. This is what I really need from you. Sometimes that need is, I need you to completely back off, or I need your positive encouragement, or I need you to say nothing or I need your help, like can we exercise together? Can we do things together? So at the end of the day, the most important thing to remember is these issues do not go away by themselves. If it's a problem for one person in the marriage, it's a problem for the marriage. And so somehow it needs to be communicated and it needs to be communicated with absolute compassion. Of all the people that I've supported that binge eat, that have bulimia, that comfort eat, all of these kinds of food patterns, and I know because I struggled with eating issues for over 20 years, it's often a lot deep rooted than just changing the food and doing a bit of exercise. Often it's used as a tool to get through life, to get through stressful situations. And so the gift of healing, the gift of looking at these stresses, of anxiety or whatever it is, can really support somebody to, to move through it. So if you add extra pressure to a person that's already unhappy about what they're doing, already going through a difficult time in their life, then often it just compounds a problem rather than supports it. So if you're married to somebody and you want to support them and you don't know how to support them, do feel free to reach out to me on my website, Nicola B. You can book a free call with me and we can discuss maybe some one-to-one -one coaching for you. Or if you're the person that's like absolutely sick and tired of your eating patterns, but don't know how to start, how to break free, then again, do contact me on my website, nicolabeer.com. I'd be so happy to hear from you. I also do have a healthy eating, stop emotional eating audio program, which you can get on the website as well, which has some hypnotherapy in it, which has some action step in it. So you can just download that straight away. If you don't even want to wait and you don't want to speak to anybody, you just want to get started, you can do that there too. Thanks for watching.